that point, and let's see yep. how they fare in this specific matchup. Leo, I think he has uh, got a couple of statements in, in mind for anybody who's been doubting him. And, uh, well, we'll get to talk about that in his next matchup, but as of right now, it's all about Kirby versus Mario. Yeah, now, as you say, you know, I was going to tell you because with this matchup, we have the, van the vanilla matchup of the Super Smash Brothers, you know? Kirby against Mario having the matchup and now Super Ferro having the moment to recover because Yu he already have been punished with Kaye and Anemike Leo, you know? He maybe mm -hmm. is, uh, this is their last matchup that they could have here. And as you say so, this is the rock bottom. This is the fight to be, who's going to be the last and the not least. Now Super Ferro just receiving a lot of damage, but Yu as we say so, uh, has a lot of opportunities, has a lot of punishments, and you know, in doing these grabs again, just having to confirm. And now with the Mario hat having the pressure with the fire. Oh, super, uh, super dog uh, narrowly avoiding those options by the ledge. Great recovery here by Yohyu. Once more, perfect spacing on that. We're not gonna see the same ease of spikes as Incinero did have. Not uh, that Mario's spike is bad at all, but just not as quick uh, to reposition with it. Even in spite of the mobility differences, ironically enough. Uh, no ledge trap here. Gilhu just gives it up. I'm kind of surprised. Yep. That is the type of position which you really have to capitalize on to well, claim the stocks in a textbook manner, of course. Uh, Gilhu um, trying to go a bit more for reads, be more for like uh, another type of setup. Finally gonna get to catch the upper and uh, no aerial entrance there for super dog a good start though even in spite of the rage that is going to be a sweet 19 percent but i don't think that is exactly where kill who wants to stop yeah and my people let me tell you something i think that we just witnessed the longest fight i uh, the longest fight just to confirm the first stock in this pool and is with this too. Yuki and Super Dog, the youngest of this pool, just mm -hmm. delivered their best in this na in this moment. And now Night Recovered, that was a huge wow. upbeat to, to Super Dog, but they that that saved Yuki in this moment. Now careful, careful, now trying to confirm. Maybe just wanted to grab Yuki. He's just wanted the close game. But Super Dog is not driven in this moment. And that was a nice block, but it was a huge escape. That was escape bottom, wow. but it's that is tough. You can punish him and now just need a combo and a fly out to Super Dog to confirm the stock from Gilhu. Somebody somebody tell me, please. I need to know if Downer to Down Smash is truer versus floating because we've seen it employed quite a few times already, or if it's just an universal combo that Kirby can do, or if it's just fake AF, you know what I'm saying? And mm. it's just because Gilhu is a god. And we'll see the edge guard here. Such a tough way to make it back into the stage. Gilhu goes for the style, not Ooh. needed, and he didn't quite get it, but it was pretty much a guarantee at that point. Gilhu trying to make a statement to reestablish them uh, themselves uh, just a bit more. I mean, it is a good way to claim a game. And uh, I mean, uh, both of them coming from a loss, but the last loss from Superdog a bit more. Uh, a bit more recent, let's say, so maybe that's still lingering in his mind. And he's been jumping quite a bit whenever he's off stage, so that has been a call out that worked for Leo and now is working for uh, Gilhu here. And so, if he can keep on capitalizing on that type of mistake off stage uh, from the Mario main, then things could get very nasty very quickly. Yeah, and you know, in these situations when you are against the wall, <laughs> you are just having a lot of pressure, a lot of damage. Uh, now, you say so. Super Dog is having the fight when he just lost with MK Leo. He's on hit. He's, uh, he's now on the rhythm. He's just fighting around eight, nine games in straight. And now, just with the tire off. Uh, maybe it's not a big deal, but when you are on the competition, you are going to feel it. Maybe you say you don't feel it, you don't say, or you don't think it's a, a matter of change or a matter of impotence, but it's something really, really tough to surpass 
just a marathon. This is a, a mini marathon, to be honest, on the pools. Th that's why when I'm in pools, is something that I don't really like to be on the last in the last fight. I need to repeat because it, it, it's trying to reset again. And if you lose, you need to keep in mind. But that will forge legends. That will forge the competition and overall make better contenders in the long run. And now nice. it's that a right hit from Super Duck. Flying heel heel. Well, let's see if he can just maintain this stage. All right, let's see what he can do. Just a bit of history between both of these guys. Currently, the record stands at a solid 9 to 3. And you would guess it by judging from the first game, it is Gilhue, the one that has a dominant a game count versus that man Super Dog. But he's got Ws in the past, so it's not like. Uh, he is not capable of doing it right now, though. Gilhi once again racking up the percent, who barely managing to recover to the stage with that air dodge. Horizontal air dodge, not something that you see every day. Looking for that trip to the punish game here from Gilhi's end has definitely been rehearsed over and over, and he almost had the setup yet again. Uh, Superdog uh, so much so trying to avoid that that he's end up in the corner, and he goes pretty much from coast to coast, and now. Here is where Gilhu tries to make his money. Let's see if he can actually do so. Once he makes it back from the stage, oh, he tries to jump him. Ooh. Couple more jumps left, and uh, the air dodge recovery yet again working like a charm here for Gilhu. That was a really, really tough fight in this corner, but now he's trying to confirm Super Duck on the air, just trying to record. Gilhu is not. Confirming the stock, and now he's oh, just yeah, yeah. trying. Padrino. Super Dog having to recover. Nice block from Yuki. Yuki trying to re to protect this this stage, but it's not enough. Nice of B trying to go to get. That was a huge kick, but it's not enough to flank him out. Careful, careful, Yuki. Yuki. I don't know. They're just swinging, just to trying to report. For now, just trying to get it now. Finally, a knockdown. Super Dog needs to recover, maybe two swings, and that's it. Careful, that's one. That's the grab. Dan's trying to confirm, and maybe it's going to be a spike. No, 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 no. I, I don't know. Super Perro, I think he's kind of shy trying to hunt that down. Maybe just trying to waste his opponent's patience because there was two or three chances that he could spike without any problem but it's the way that's the decision making that he needs to maybe improve in these situations but now he already confirmed he's not delivering it and we now have just three minutes to end this round and i love what i'm seeing here from from super Dope. waiting till the very last second to show the, the last shot he's shown to be very very efficient with those so i was wondering why isn't he starting to punish Gilhu with that option it turns out it was because he was just waiting for the right moment to do so oh getting the grab breaking combo with the nair and that is going to enable him to nice. get a couple more uppers yeah the flood doesn't come out in time the water pressure not going to be felt by kirby here nice oh, no. spacing coming out from Gilhu and he unfortunately has been falling prey to a bit of a weak, weak spot on his gameplay at least today which has been his ledge trapping not looking the most pristine and that could end up costing him this game right here if super dog doesn't let him land Ooh, the dash attack i don't know what exactly that was however yet again by the ledge and Finally. giving away the air dodge super dog he will clutch up and now we have a new situation the longest round that we had in this pool at least and you know i'm fine because this is two of the youngest fighters here in mexico city in mexico city well in metropolitan area in mexico because you know there i you say that super Perry is from puebla i think uh, correct me if i'm wrong uh no he's definitely from mexico city yeah. oh thank Already you sure. okay because I, I, I remember. Well, at least I, I, at, at the very least, I don't know. He may be from Puebla and then moved to, to Mexico City. But at the very least, I have always, always seen him in Mexico City tournaments. So. Oh, okay. Um, oh, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Oh, perfect, perfect. Just to, just to keep it down in mind because 
the people know the all the person that have been in Smash Factory he's the mostly on Puebla the last the, this year was in Mexico City but you know just to keep that in mind because a lot of people doesn't really know where is the Mexico community the Mexican community fighting is here in well to be honest in all the country because uh, something that happens here in Smash Bros is that if you say there's a tournament they could go and now in this invitational they're from different places and now Gil Hugh is just having a knockout and just equalizing this matchup because the rounds are one and one but the stocks are two at the moment Gil Hugh is just so good to find the jump reads to call them out with the downer and then confirm it is not easy to set up at those kill percents and the my lord is he making an incredible job out of it i don't know if he has to perfectly buffer it but it doesn't seem like the most straightforward of inputs oh gil hugh finally baiting oh. out with that spot dodge something that we've seen what? out of super dog actually he has been getting punished quite a bit whenever he decides to shield pressure and then he goes for a spot dodge so we'll see if gil hugh can capitalize onto it so that is a bit of a history between both of these guys being displayed in the form of knowing your opponent's habits. Great uh, saving of the jump, but the get up attack not the clean is not really gonna help Super Dog survive. And we did have an advantage, but it's not gonna last whatsoever. Who will get to have finally an advantage here in this set? Will it be the challenger Super Dog, or is Gilhu gonna show that he has more left in the tank? Yeah, there's a lot of a lot of opportunities I could do, and now a uh, careful Super Ferro trying to punish, but with him in that combo, UQ just sits in the air, Super Dog trying to recover, but careful because that's a huge smash. Ooh. What? Nice. I don't I don't saw that coming. I, I did. did. I did as well. What? Okay, okay, okay. Beautiful, beautiful. Maybe first hit I, only. I, he fast fell that. He fa yeah. Like, those are one of the things that didn't really get. Too explored in, in Ultimate, I think, until the mid to late stages, such as we are right now. And Gilhu going for a very, very tricky confirm. And he is gonna end up getting it. The advantage goes to his side, and uh, it's the Kirby had gotten rocked. I do believe that the Green Ninja would have maybe come out of play, but I don't see a world in which that is happening. And no, taking him for a ride right there. Yeah, oh, he was trying for the trade. He's still off stage. Not a safe situation. The jump has been spent. Oh my god, that was so close to being it. Superdog actually exposing himself a little too much off stage. But here comes the retaliation coming in from Mario and forcing out a very precise recovery yet again from Gil Huey. If he is a well, anybody that gets careless in such a situation, they are going to be paying the price. And right now, the one paying the price is Super Doc himself, Gilhue, with a commanding lead as of right now. Yeah, but let, let me tell you something. Here, Gilhue is becoming so reckless. Now to trying to punish, to deliver Super Down the quickest as he can to get him out of the stage. Now we have a lot of area fighting, we are out of the corner, we are out of the stage and Yu Hyu just trying to push him down in any capacity. Yu Hyu, I feel that he's kind of rushed, he's trying to finish the fight the quickest as possible, but I, I don't know, Super Perro just reading the momentum and trying to be on, on the spot and now is having the advantage of damage because Super Ferro has, has a lot of range, has a lot of pressure and now who, if he stands a grab, maybe he can deliver a full combo. Okay, so Super Ferro is even on the Gihu having a lot of pressure and now just punish him in every moment, just trying to get him on the stage, now Super Ferro is just flying, he now kill you, having a lot of troubles just to confirm Super Pedro delivering, but it's not enough. Gilhu trying to protect himself, but you know, Roy, this is going to be really, really, really tough. He's not trying to complete in these matchups, but now Super Pedro having the upper hand because Gilhu felt that he could deliver and finish this fight in Dryda now. I mean, it was a bit of a grinder at the very, end, at the very beginning, and uh, from then on, Super Dog. Well, he's just been keeping ahead. He knows that he can trade Mario the right character to try and 
that will deliver in that same regard. The back throw nearly being it. No incinerator back throw around here, but nonetheless quite strong. And the upper nearly being to confirm yet again. Up smash. Oh. We'll seal it out. We've seen that fair from the ledge quite a few times from the kill here. And Super Dog, he is one uh, to not hesitate when he has to just let rip of a good old Cappy to let them know exactly where they're going up to the skies. So we have yet another game number five. Absolutely. And now, again, this is the the kill, the Bill Hughes guilt because he was pretty, pretty rushed. He could finish if he respects Superdog. He knows that he doesn't need to fight in every moment, but he delivers all the combo when the chances are are aligned and now Yuki just needs to do the hard work if he wants to win this match. Yeah, you really yeah. are gonna have to put in the, the work regardless. Uh, Yuki for sure gonna have to work a bit harder right now. Finally, he does get the pop up with the hyper cutter, so that is gonna allow him to start his combo. And we've seen just how hard Yuki can hit. He was expecting oh. for and spot dodge there on behalf of um, of super dog it doesn't give it to him and the air to air battles oh double down Ooh. tilt the first one i believe did trip so uh, not letting yes. rip of the four smash immediately and uh, trying for the downer we've seen just how dangerous that confirm can be yokyo barely interrupting the up smash startup so let's see how he escapes from the ledge here once again Still, he's trying to use Just a range option such as that fair. Careful, look we at are that. over 100 damage. And now he's trying to fly. That's a confirmation for Super Dog. Super Dog is now over 100. Now Gilkey trying to confirm oh, it, but nice. it's not enough. Careful, careful, just flying, just flying because Kirby, Kirby, my body, my body, my Christian body, I is strong. I think that you're trying just at the pressure. And now. Trying to record uh, in this matchup, Gil just receiving all the punish Super Dog. This moment this is your chance. This is your flight, and it's not enough. Punish, 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 confirmed. That's the right spot. It's not enough. Gil maybe is just trying to wait. He's just waiting on the right spot, but he's not relieving in any capacity, Super Dog. Just careful, careful, Papito. Mantén la calma, sapiencia, because you're flying, you're confirming. Wow. That was a nice edge guard. That was a cypher cutter. Beautiful. Nice wild and finally for Gihu. Having that confirmation, that stock, but having a lot of damage on his body. Oh, for sure. And I don't know how the rage is going to affect some of the combos and confirms that Kirby can make the parry, but there is a no back here. Instead, an, an attempted upper coming in from Superdog. I like uh, that little bit of hidden aerial and then roll back to try and set up the stage for him to chase around. Ooh, uh, the smashes are coming out. Gilhue gonna have to set up for the two piece, so it seems like he cannot combo maybe as well because of the hyper sand falling straight into mario's loving gloves and oh. the upper will work this time around a big big lead that super dog just have let's see if indeed he can deliver once again and finally get a little bit of revenge oh. excellent super jump punch that was a nice recover. Careful, Gilhue is trying to again punish Super Dog. Yeah, having a lot of damage. He has two stocks, and now Gilhue is, is in his last chance. This is the last opportunity that he'll be get a point. Because if he loses, is he's going to be 0 and 3. Not having another opportunity, he'll be out of pools. But now this is the real time, the real moment that he could deliver. That was a nice parry. Careful, Super Dog. Super Dog is just punishing. Yuki throws having the air, wow. but not enough. Trying to punish. Nice of B. Nice of B. Just trying to recover. But Yuki trying to punish. That was Ooh, a pretty really lovely. Golly luck that he's delivering, but Super Perro just tried to read. Wow, the hard and now confirmed him. That was like a book. Nice Super Perro just waited wow. on the right moment to fly that fluffy pink ball.
Yeah, send him flying, send him packing, kill you. Unfortunately, Mans is out of opportunities. Superdog barely hanging in there, but uh, we'll see. Because we have a couple more, 